battalions of orcs marching on the lonely mountain to take it for themselves. But what is in their way? We have an alliance of dwarves and elves and men fighting together once more to defend Middle Earth. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here with the Battle of the Five Armies. Uh, on the Battle of the Five Armies uh, map, we are using the latest update for the Rise of Mordor. So we're able to now have elves uh, in the Battle of the Five Armies and Dol Guldur, of course, like the Gundabad Orcs. So that's actually really cool. So we're actually going to see a sort of a more complete version of the Battle of the Five Armies for once. Um, all we need now is like trolls and eagles, I guess, as well. Um, but I don't think we're going to get eagles, so the best you can have to do is like the eagles, like the smaller ones that are like around Dale right now. You can sort of see them there on the uh, around these uh, pillars. But yeah, so I mean, it's looking really, really uh, one-sided at the moment. We have 15,000 uh, Orcs of Gundabad in three separate armies. We have this army over here, and there's two armies here. Uh, and there is one reinforcing army over here, which will be arriving at a certain point. Um, but yeah, so this army is tasked with taking Dale, and there is a small Dalian force. Uh, well, not actually quite a large Dalian force. It's probably the largest uh, out of the good forces. We have a small elven force here. Um, very, very elite. We've got some Lasgalian blades, lots of hall guardians, and we've got lords of Lasgalian back here. Along with, where is he? He's up here somewhere. There he is. He's already inside the city. The Elven King. We've got Thranduil already in here. He's already defending the uh, main capture point. So yeah, these are two... That's a really small Elven force tasked with defending Dale. Um, so you know when like Thranduil goes in with his uh, deer and he cuts down like a million... Well, not a million orcs, but like eight or nine orcs. Um, his like forces in there is uh, representing him going in on a few like squads. So there's about eight units there. We now have the main elven force out here with uh, the dwarves. We have the uh, dwarves of Erebor. And they're about to clash, actually. Already we've got a small expeditionary force, you could say, of uh, Dol Guldur going in straight away. Um, it may be a little bit laggy. I'm not really sure. Um, I haven't gone through the entire replay yet myself. Um, but there is a lot of units on the battlefield. We have 7,000, nearly 8,000 forces of good. And we have 15,000 forces of evil making it nearly 16,000 so let's see how epic this is there we go the initial clash of infantry is about to begin and there we go the battle of five armies is underway these dwarves should be able to hold off uh, Dol Guldur to start with these spears are very very elite and here we go another spear clash look at the size difference that's just like ridiculous like these orcs are massive in comparison to the dwarves obviously though how did the dwarves ever find this a fair fight? That's the real question. Already seeing the first dwarven casualties. Oh no, he's getting up. Absolute champ. Um, we've got some grim hammers over here. We've got axe, uh, axe warriors. We've got axe warrior reserves here. The elven army's yet to join. It's kind to represent like it, you know, when it jumps over like the top of that shield wall, which it truly never should have. Um, but yeah, they do look excellent. We've got plenty of uh, Lasgal and spears here. We've got Lasgal and Blades in behind. We've got some Hall Guardians here as well. And we've got uh, lots of Lasgal and Bows. And we've got the Lords of Lasgal as our general out here. He looks like he's setting up, ready to fire. Already looking like he's going to fire. There's a, lo a few loose arrows going off. But we have shown off this map once before. We did the Battle of Dale, um, which is more is later on in, middle, in like the Third Age and the history of Middle-earth. So if you haven't checked that one out, I recommend you highly go and check that one out. Recommend highly you check that one out, that's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, it is a very, very good battle as well. Along with this one, so I definitely recommend checking it out till the end to see what happens. See whether the forces of good can hold back the forces of evil. Fire arrows coming in now. We've got some uh, Guldor Glaives now in here, which is like these guys with these weird scythe uh, blades. You can see here we now got uh, got the uh, force forces of uh, Erebor now sending in their reserves already. They're not happy with how it's uh, the battle's turning out. I mean, they could flank on here, but it's a big risk. But here you go, the elves are coming ever so slightly. It's not very. It wasn't a very long delay because it wasn't in the movie either. Um, but yeah, these actually a few of the units are starting to lose for the uh, dwarves. So these elves joining the battle. That is massive. It's a shame they can't jump over the lines. That would have been so cool. 
But uh, we will deal with them marching through. Now they can support their dwarven friends or allies. One of the rare times that they actually are allies. We've got spears over here setting up. Um, we've got more stuff over here. We're getting stuff ready on the flanks to support. Not all the swords going in yet. We've got plenty of reserves. We've got plenty of crossbows as well. The crossbows are going to need to find a really good t uh, angle though to fire. Like look there, i just seen. Those dwarves are losing decisively already. Not a good sign. Uh, we'll check on Dale. And it looks like there's been a breach in Dale already. A breach in the uh, defences. And now we have uh, forces Goldor Blades already inside. Fighting off some uh, spear militia. As they would. Because I mean Dale's not really got a professional army at this point. It's not even Dale. It's um, Lake Town. It's the uh, people of Lake Town. But represented by Dale. Because we do have some... Uh, I think we do have some Lake Town uh, guards up here somewhere. If I can find them. Where are the Lake Town guards? You know what? We may have misplaced the Lake Town guards. Where are they? Ah, oh, they're over here. That's where they are. Okay, I'll quickly show you these guys. Because they, they've had a bit of a buff since uh, they last were used. I'm pretty sure they used to be a Halberdier unit. I could be wrong. I swear they were though. But they're now a Shock Infantry unit. They look excellent. Um... But yeah, so now Dale must hold against the elite forces of uh, Dol Guldur, really. I mean, look, they've not even taken a loss, and they've killed, like, nearly 20 men. Even more than that, possibly. No, just 20. Just a, just a solid 20. But yeah, I don't imagine these spearmen are going to do too much. They're already fighting over here, as well as a, a single unit here, if... I was Dale as maybe flanking here, and then you can send up another unit to take over this unit's position. It is only Spear Militia. Here you go, I think, as I say it, the order's going to be given. I'm a mind reader on what is going to happen. I mean, it does help that I was playing in this battle. Um, but yeah, so Dale is flanking on in. That should help route this unit. I mean, there's still two Spear Militia units. There's a good chance that Dol Guldur here will just brush off those two units. But we do have now some watch post sentries. A more elite unit coming up. I mean, they're only trained now instead of levy. They do look a little bit better. They have got uh, some better shields there. But let's go back to the main fight. So as you can see here, lots more of the uh, the line is now engaged. They're actually winning over here on this side against the uh, Goldor Blades. On this side, again, also winning on the flank. Excellent to see. But there's, it's going to be a bloody fight, this front line. And this is where they must hold. Because they need to beat these off as quickly as possible. So they can then face the final army that is to come in. Led by Bol. When that ever happens. We didn't. We decided that instead of on a time limit. That uh, they just have to, they could start to come in. When like. Well when Dale and uh, this force was looking like it was going to get beaten back. Or in the off chance that we possibly win this scenario or this fight over here, um, the two armies are being beaten back. But I mean, we're on a poor dwarf there, just cut down. We, we are massive outnumbered, but the elves and dwarves are two elite factions. The Woodland Realm elves, they're very, very good. This huge front line. And as you can see here, this is a really good move by uh, Erebor here. So we've got some crossbows going up. And he's going to get a really nice angle on this nice little hill. And he's going to fire right into the back of those uh, Dolgaldos or blades. Yeah, the Goldor blades. Or he might actually be firing over there instead. Because I think that unit's a slightly different one. And it's... Uh, oh no, it's same unit. Same unit. But here we go, so we've got um, some Goldor Blades now responding and going after these er Erebor crossbows. But we have some elves ready. Got some elven spears holding the line. And they'll go up and support. And here we go, the changeover is happening. So they've got about two or three volleys off to the Erebor. And Gold... It looked like uh, Goldor was going to charge up, but he's not going to now. And he's going to go into these spears, which are now clashing with them. This is a bit of a concern. You can see that the dwarves are starting to be slowly flanked. 
And they could get a unit between here, could uh, Dol Guldur. Huge gap. I mean, there's some huge gaps in the line that they need to take advantage of, really. Like, here again, another big gap. And then it, like, goes on for quite a while. I mean, it just looks awesome. Just see, like, I mean, I'll just, like, zoom out and then zoom in. Like, you can see, like, the bronze where, uh, where the woodland realm is. And you can see the silver of Erebor. And, like, the dark and black of... Dark and blacky silver of, uh... Dol Guldur looks awesome. But yeah, if they're trolls now, Dol Guldur, just to help, just to break up these lines. Like, look at this. Grim Hammers are now in here. So you can see, if we put the uh, hood on, you can see... Uh, the Goldor Blades try to go through this gap here, and then the Grim Hammers just shut the door on them and said, No, that's it, you're not coming through. And they are getting defeated like massively. 69 of them left already. Uh, actually, no, is that a different unit? That might be. 144, yes, 144, that sounds better. Um, against Grim Hammers. And they've only taken how many losses the Grim Hammers taken? One. Insane. And here you go. So this unit is breaking and is gone. Only problem with this map. Uh, Units don't break and run off the map, so they're just going to stand here just broken. So we were really confused when we were like, we've been chain routing a lot of units for a while, why aren't they going? And it's because of that reason. Like this one here, Merkle Trackers, they won't break or run. Uh, they're actually going to rally anyway, so it doesn't matter. But here we go, so I've got Spears coming up, they're going to form Shield Wall. And they're going to support their Dwarven allies. That looks excellent, look at that. It's looking insane. Just the contrast in colours is just so pleasant. But yeah, there you go. If you haven't seen the map, there is the Lonely Mountain in the background. He's looking excellent. Excellent. I presume it's a he, the Lonely Mountain. I don't know why it would be. Don't know why it would have a gender, to be honest. I guess it would be a she, wouldn't it? Most things are named after females. But anyway, you can see here, Spear Militia now wavering and gone. We've now got Shipman in here, I think. No, Lasgal and Blades. Wow. Already elves being sent in. And we've got Watch Pro Sentries. So the elves are already committing to this front line. They should be able to route uh, this Dolgal Dur unit. We've also got, uh, I think that's uh, Elven's, Elven Bows back there already. Yeah, we've got Lords of Lasgallan, a really elite bow unit, and they're firing down. That's a really good angle. Uh, just at these men in reserve. There's uh, Goldor Blades. They're getting messed up. For everything that is good in Middle Earth, we must hold, men. Hold. The uh, watch post sentries need to kind of go in. Actually, these are the spear militia. Oh no, yeah, watch post sentries. The spear militia are routed and just going to stand there. They need to support their, dwar their dwarves, their elven allies. The dwarves, there you go, shipmen going in. They're going to go in instead. Good idea. Send some swords and they'll push them back. Then on this side, what have we got going on? Looks like we've got, uh, we've got something in here. We've got hull guardians in. Excellent. These guys will mess. Unit. So we've got uh, watch post sentries and we've got some more shipmen coming in. But this unit is fully cut off now. That's insane. They actually did route that spear militia unit. No surprise there. But yeah, now the archers are coming in. I mean, they've not got great angles currently. But they've. Uh, this is a hugely important area to be focusing down. Like, you can't. they can't see them, but it, that's just the tiller for you. They can focus down these units here and they should do an excellent job. Excellent job indeed. This fighting in Dale is going to get really bloody and really messy quickly, I think. If they had trolls again, I know I keep saying it. Trolls are on the way, I know. Um, but imagine having trolls and you can just bust through these choke points. Because this is really hard. Look at the sheer amount of men in this choke point here. That is going to take a lot of lives to break through. Or a lot of archers. But Goldor doesn't really... Goldor doesn't have any um, really good range units. So they're going to need trolls to batter through there. Like Gundabad uh, trolls or something like that. Which will be excellent. The elves looking pretty bloodied up already. And they've not been in combat long. The front line you can see that we're starting to break a lot more units. Like all of these units here. There's five there. There's another one over here. Broken. Another one here. Six, eight about that. About that number, and they're already breaking. Over here, you can see there's a, another huge push by uh, 
Goldor to flank round. So we're having to send another spear unit up just to defend this flank. And this spear unit is starting to lose here. So starting to see some cracks in the line. More of my elves are starting to lose here. And they're actually been in combat even less longer than the dwarves. So I'm worried about the dwarves. They'll be exhausted soon. But this does look excellent. Look at like the, the size of that blade. And then the uh, like the uh, hilt that you're using to hold it. Just as epic. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. Just speared him. That guy as well just spearing him. But that other one just flew through the air. Got stabbed on, like impaled on the flipping spear. That's insane. Grim hammers here, knocking anything back with their huge ax. Uh, well, hammers. I was about to say axes, but it's hammers, clearly. I mean, now airball crossbows going up here. I think they're trying to get this angle up on this hill. They can see these ledges here. They're much higher up, and they could definitely get around. And you can see here, they're trying to desperately trying to get around to get these airball uh, crossbows. They're going to do it again here now. These gold or blades. They're going to try and do it. And uh, we're desperately now sending over. I think I'm sending over some hall guardians. They're going to have to deal with it. But these guys are going to have to stay in combat ever so slightly. I mean, I don't know how many losses they'll take because Aerobore crossbows, they're probably not the worst in combat. They probably don't do much damage, but their armor is just as good as any of the normal infantry. Like, that armor is solid. That, like, shooting them with their uh, crossbows is impossible. But, I mean, I'm waiting until these Hall Guardians come over the hill. It's going to look majestic. Majestic. Yeah, you tell him to die, Dwarven man. And here, you, the, here they come, over the hill. The Hall Guardians. And they're going to slam into the side of these uh, gold blades. And the uh, Erebor crossbows leave. And this shock infantry is also treated like a spear unit. That's it. They're going to mess these guys up. And they should turn the tide of the battle on this flank. I just realised that the Hull Guardians general looks very similar to the to Florandil as well, or the Elven King. And there you go, that unit's now losing decisively. It's not lost many men yet, but it should start to. And this then Hull Guardian can just flank around and just do more damage. But we're starting to see some real issues here in this area here. I'm the unit the large unit of 85 plus Garland Blades is losing. And the Arab Axe Warriors aren't looking too healthy themselves. So it's only a matter of time until they break through. The Iron Fist of the Orc. It's already like bending around the lines. And these like elves are starting to get cut off. You can see here. It's being cut off. And you can see red, like the red arrows of like the Woodland Realm. And they're firing in, trying to get some uh, good angles. We've got some spears coming over here to support. I think they're trying to... Uh, block up this area here because they're seeing this is a major concern. But lots of units starting to break. And more losing, which is excellent for us. This area we're doing okay, but it's that flank over there which could really uh, mess us up. And they're starting to pressure more and more in. Um, over here, Dale is having a. Well, starting to recoup its. Uh, not its mistakes, but it's having a hard time uh, with the spear militia. But now they've routed a few gold, gold or blades. They're forcing back the general. They're focusing down pikes. And more, uh, more gold or blades coming in. Look at the sheer amounts of units there are. Look at, they've got javies with the shipmen. They're throwing their javies. Or trying to. They just keep marching into the front lines. Bit of a stupid idea if you're th trying to throw a javelin. Don't keep walking forwards. I don't know what happened to the elves. Did they fall back? Or did they die? I don't know. They might have died. Surely not. Last Garland Blade. I think that's them there. They've lost seven men in that fight. Yeah, I think they lost seven men. Jeez. The pain that they're going through. And here we go. Dolgledore makes another push against the shipmen.
It's such a mess of bodies in here now. It's just chaos. You just gotta look at a certain area and just like keep an eye on a couple of men. And just think, oh, what's gonna happen to him? But that's what it looks like. Imagine just being one of these defenders. You're looking down and you're just like, good god, what's to come? And it's more Guldur blades. They just spammed a lot of them. And you, as you would. Dol Guldur did just have a large army of swords, really. Like in the Battle of the Five Armies in the movie. Imagine there was wags there as well, but you don't see them featured, really. And there's obviously trolls, but we can't have trolls, so you, you've got to just go with orcs. And these uh, champions of Dol the more elite shock infantry unit, getting focused down by elves as they come in. Literally any unit that like got within like a certain distance, they can fire like 225, so it's about to here. It may even be as far as here. But any like shock infantry unit that got close, I was just like, right, that's it, it's getting focused down. Any pike unit that got close, got focused down. But yeah, so I mean, hopefully they can do some damage. Like, look at this champions and Dolgal Dur. They're losing decisively now. Because of all that damage they've had done. And they're still getting damage done to them. Some insane angles. Majestic as the uh, bows of like the uh, uh, of the elves. I was about to say the archers, and I was like, no, that's not right. Just the Woodland Realm is definitely going to be one of my favourite factions now. They are just so good. If Noldor gets its uh, roster expanded, then I can imagine that it will be Noldor will also be competing. A Dol Guldur also could be a one of my favourite factions. It looks so good. It looks just something straight out of the movies, but it's just got to uh, have a bit more variety. Get some wargs in there, some trolls, obviously. And then it'll be really good. I'll really enjoy playing as them. They've got more versatility then. Right now, it's just a really strong heavy infantry faction. Which, unfortunately, can get focused down quite easy by elves. But here you go. Dol Guldur is coming in. And some more shock infantry. And they stop just abruptly. That's a bit weird. And then they're going to crash into this line. How is this spear line for the dwarves still held? That is insane. But they're being cut, they're slowly being cut down again. But we've got another sword line ready of elves and dwarves just getting ready. Gonna hold the line to the last. Now the elves on this left have taken over from the dwarves. But it's gonna be hard. They, these guys are, were in the shield wall. I think they are sort of still in one. It's gonna be hard to break through them. But that line, insane. You can see, yeah, there's a bit of lag. Ever so slightly. What are the uh, casualties looking like now? So, they've lost 4,000 men have the uh, have the attackers. And uh, the good forces have lost about probably 1,300. I'd say the majority are on this front line. Dale's lost a few units, but he's actually starting to uh, consolidate this defense here. But I think Dale also needs, like... I think they are planning, to, like the Rise Mod a lot, are trying to do a, going to do another mod, uh, another map, sorry, like mod this map, and uh, I think it needs some entrances over here, uh, just to make Dale a bit more, uh, let's say, I don't know how to put it, vulnerable? Yeah, vulnerable is the way I put it, yeah, have a mountain pass through here possibly, uh, certainly, and then maybe make this like a viable entrance is also a good way, just so they've got more ways to come in, and maybe a bit more wall, like make this a bit more of the wall. Instead of just having it as a impassable like way through, just so they, just so Dale's got like less to defend, um, more to defend, sorry, and got less troops in one area. Like currently, he's got his entire army looking this way. Obviously, they could come through this gate as well, but most likely the defenders are going to just stand in front of it like we are and force the attackers to batter through an entire line. You can see here the whole guardians on this flank. Routed the gold door blades. They now got to really go around and start routing the next lot. But yeah, there's a huge amount of routing going on, and they're starting to fall back. They are starting to fall back a bit. Um, because I think at this point, uh, someone did drop out, and I think it was unfortunately this uh, player. So his attacking army is now AI controlled, and we were like, oh, um, is the AI going to start moving? Because obviously the AI just does what it wants. Um, but the AI actually couldn't see our armies. Um, so, look, we sent some stuff over there just to make sure. So, I sent my whole guardians over there. Um, and Erebor sent some crossbows in his general there just to keep an eye on it. But, um, we then were like, well, so clearly nothing's coming. 
like they're over there just still on their own. So I think in a moment we are going to tell the Elven King to ride over. Just so you know, I probably won't show it uh, happening, but like the Elven King just rides over and he tries to activate this army and get it to, ha get it to work. Get it to move. You can see here, look at this, it's like a weird standoff. These guys have all routed and they just stood here. I really can't wait till they fix this map properly. And I'm sure we'll do another Battle of the Five Armies when there's an even better map. Even more tro like trolls. There's uh, maybe a, maybe men of Lake Town. I don't know whether that they'd bother making a faction for that. It's not really worth it. Um, when there's trolls. When there's wargs possibly. Or wags I should say. It looks like even like the Mirkwood trackers are now going in. That's how like desperate it's got. Sending troops in. These little little, little goblin little sort of type creatures. Just with their jabbies. They're just in there, you know. Minding their own business. And here come the elves. They're back. Giving the order to go back in. Oh, this guy. Oh, he's been stabbed with an axe. Don't think that's how it works, pal. I don't know. Maybe you could. It's quite sharp. But it does look like the uh, Dolgaldor army facing this way is having a really tough time breaking through. And with the, uh, look at the archers as well, just firing down. And we were using supply barrel over here to supply, resupply units. We've got Marksman and Dale now going over. They're very low on ammo, but they're going to regather quite a lot of that ammo. And they're just going to be able to just carry on firing. Like, nothing really mattered, basically. Just like, doesn't even matter. But, I mean, yeah, look at this. Lords of Las Garland, they can, can't really see from our angle. But they can just loop up arrows over the top and just firing down into these, uh, into these swords down here. And we've got watchpost sentries down here. Just they don't even need a really good unit. They just need to hold up Dolgaldur, and it's just massacring them. Like the archers are doing all the work, massacring orcs left, right, and center. But it doesn't matter. Orc lives don't matter. Joking. In this day and age, all lives matter, including uh, including uh, orcs. We won't have any more orc discrimination. They've had a hard time as it is, getting beaten up by elves, men, and dwarves. Every goddamn game, basically. Most games, I mean, I've seen sometimes Mordor come out on top in battles or do really well. But they're always missing that one thing, and it's usually like uh, trolls, for instance, like I said, or like Mumma Kill, or I don't know. Often I've only seen Mordor do really well if it's had like the support of its like evil allies. But look at this, a mass retreat. A huge retreat. And it looks like Dol Guldur is actually going to give up the city. He's not even going to finish up, try and take the assault. I don't know if it's not the worst idea in the world. Because I mean, Dale's got a lot left. He's not even committed his late town guards. You've got the... Uh, Jeez, I was trying, about a hiccup, but I, then it didn't, like, happen. Um, but you've got the Lords of Las Garland here as well, which are also really good in combat. You've got all the elves left, basically. So they've got, like, a fresh army. I mean, they've got, like, their uh, swords as well. They've not actually committed any of their daily swordsmen. So, I mean, I'm surprised Dol Guldur didn't break through, like, easier. They're doing a really good job on our flank over here. They're starting to, uh, like, break through. You can start to see, like, look how thin this line is now. 25 Las Garland blades holding them up. I mean, it's a shame that they're, like, broken and not going to return. Like, they're just stuck there. But you can see here as well, they're uh, setting up their final assault, really. But, yeah, we're starting to, uh... I think the general's now being sent up. He's going to activate... He's going to activate uh, the reinforcing army. And hopefully, we'll see what happens there. And here we go. The swords are coming in. But yeah, it, it was a really hard challenge playing as the elves. Like, elves are really strong, yes. But in this scenario, it was really hard. There was a lot of points where, like, my ally is the dwarves are just saying, we should pull back to Dale. 
I was like, no, we can't let the Lonely Mountain fall. It's, it's your homeland. Why? We, we just, that's what you're fighting for. We can't let that go. Um, and also, I was like, well, if we fall anything back, then it dies. Like, we can't retreat because if we retreat, then our units get cut down as we run away and we just break and die. So we're better just dying and killing as many of these guys as possible. Because at this point, like, Dale and, oh, if we turn around, Dale and, like, the other Elven army are looking okay. They're looking pretty fresh. Not looking atrocious. So if Dol Guldur has to come after Dale, then, uh, like, it's better to weaken him as much as possible before we get in there. We're just really worried about this reinforcing army. As you can see here, the Elven King getting close now, and he's activated it. So the AI is finally gone, oh, there's an army to attack here, and it's just actually the Elven King. I wouldn't, it would be interesting to see how much damage he would have done charging in, but, uh, who knows? Quite a bit, possibly. How fresh is he still? <laughs> he's actually still fresh. Jeez, he'd run the entire way from Dale all the way there. But you can see we are prepared. We have a hedgehog formation ready with uh, the Hall Guardians. We've got crossbows ready on both flanks. And this is a nice little elevation here. They can get a nice little angle across that uh, sort of causeway there. But yes, yeah, so we'll have to see what happens when the in second... Well, not the second... Well, it's the second force, I guess, arrives. But the uh, fourth and final Dol Guldur army, really. The first two are still having a tough time fighting here, but you can see here, another they found another hole through our lines, and they're surrounding us with some champions of Dol Guldur, a really elite unit. And they're going to surround these elves and dwarves here. And this is just absolutely going to mess, mess them up. It's going to be detrimental. Our general is under attack, apparently. Uh, he's about to come under attack because he's about to go into combat. As we have the Lords of Las Garland here desperately going in. Like, men, we must help our kin. Kill these bastards that have surrounded us. And here we go, the uh, another archer unit coming in. They're not even out of ammo, either of these units. But that's the desperation we've come to. Archers having to go in with ammo because they're starting to surround us in areas. And we can't have that. But, uh, yeah. Currently, it's not looking okay. He's, they're still doing okay. They're literally surrounded. This Elven unit is not looking good, though. It keeps getting uh, surrounded and losing decisively occasionally. Over here, you can see, though, the Hall Guardians now starting to flank. They're winning decisively. So is this unit, though. Apparently, Gold or Glaives. But yeah, this last Galleon Spear is actually just about holding on. There's 33 of them left. How are they holding? It's because they're elves and they're goddamn elite. These Hall Guardians, look at them. Just, you can hear the slices in the air. So they just thread their little uh, spear. Well, it's not even little, it's a huge spear. Through the armor of the uh, Orcs of Gundabad, as they basically are, aren't they? Well, certainly that army over there is the Orcs of Gundabad. These guys, I guess, are just Dol Guldur. I thought they were from like the same sort of like almost strain, but they're clearly not. And here we go, the Elven King's back. So Frangil has uh, not got anything to do in the uh, inside the city, so he's going to go and do some stuff outside on the walls. I'm going to see what happens, but you can see here this unit's now losing decisively. Hall Guardians winning decisively, and they're doing excellent. Hall Guardians just so nasty, man. I would not want to fight them. I'm glad they added this unit, it like hardly features in the films, but they're there at like Mirkwood, so uh, guarding all the uh, prisons, so that's really cool that they added them. Archers here losing decisively, they're not having a fun time against these champions of Dol Guldur, who are also losing though. Just the sheer amount of men surrounding them is scaring them off. We've now got the Dwarven General in here as well, of his Grim Hammers, they should certainly deal with a nasty blow. But this flank over here, this centre is basically finished. We have nearly, like, routed everything here. And then on this side, you can see the reinforcing army, the AI army that's coming in now is, uh, is getting ready. And the orders have been given off, I think, to start firing over here with Erebor. This would be really, this is such a cool little uh, choke point. I mean, we would have let them in a little bit further, possibly, but it's hard to say. Also, this army really should be going through Dale uh, a bit more, I think, than it should be going through... Well, it does kind of come this way, but it also goes into Dale, doesn't it? Like, Bolg. Does Bolg go into Dale? No, well, it goes into whatever this place is up here. I 
forgot what this is. Is this Stone? Stone Haven or something like that? I can't remember what it's called. Something weird. It's where uh, Azog's based, isn't he? But here we go. The March of uh, Dol Guldur. It's got, they're a bit bloodied up. I think they've had a few uh, shots from the crossbows, but not many. Well, all they can see in the distance is just one puny unit of Hall Guardians. But by God, will that unit stop them. They'll stop them in their tracks. I mean, they could flank around. It's quite possible they could flank around. But you can see here, imagine being a crossbow and you're just like, just fire, man, fire. You can't miss. There's so many of them down there. And there's like more to come. There's so many up there. I just want to see the initial clash. These guys are taking all time, aren't they? No wonder they get like getting shot up by the uh, archers. They're just strolling along. Strolling along. Here we go. Proper charge now. And in they go. And the final clash. I mean, they are going to do a lot of damage on the initial charge with these Hall Guardians. But they should. The Hall Guardians should get their response in a bit. And here we go. I think they're repositioning because their square is broken. Should have really, I really should have countercharged uh, when they arrived. But you can already see now that we've got Lords of Last Garland coming over. We've got troops from out inside Dale now coming out to help. We've got Hall Guardians. We've got, uh, we've got even Lake Town Guards coming in here. This is like the desperation. Well, it's not even desperation now. It's kind of almost counteroffensive. But yeah, my uh, general's also not feeling so good right now. He's uh, starting to die. But we're nearly breaking that Champions of Dol Guldur. We mean we've got uh, more gold door blades in here. Look at the sheer amount of bodies on the floor. It is ridiculous. So many elves died. It's ridiculous. And, and dwarves as well. And a lot of orcs. But orc lives don't matter. Shh. Especially when they're led by uh, white orcs like Azog. I, I should stop. <laughs> Just stop. Stop with the orc hate. They hate everything, so they probably wouldn't mind me hating them. They probably do hate themselves, actually. Oh my gosh, the Elven King getting a nice flank in. I didn't even see that coming. But yes, yeah, so uh, Thranduil's coming back out. He's decided to come back and fight with his kin out here. Because the fighting Dale is done. And he's uh, going to be able to chop these guys up. They've lost a few men, but only eight. That's just how ridiculous. And now they're routing everything here. That's basically this entire flank gone. And Dol Guldur's just repositioning. He looks like he's going to take the defensive. So it's actually going to be the offensive by the uh, good people. It's, it's like the ma when they charge out of the mountain with Thorin. That's kind of what's going to happen here. But look at that. You've got the uh, artillery now firing. And it's trying to hit um, these guys on the wall. They actually might. As this damage is uh, 93%. Yeah, is this, is this actually going to take these guys out? Might. It's trying to, isn't it? That's very clever. He could take out this entire unit of Marksman and Dale. If he doesn't pay attention... That's such a good angle as well. Let's just look at that while uh, while we're here. Dale is just so beautiful. I think they, these units are like this. They're sort of like mi mid tier sort of units. So, like their da um, their swords, their spears, and their archers are bet so good. If I can get the angle right, oh, that's beautiful. Like, barely see what's going out there. It's just blobs, and just like you can see, sort of the Elven King. You can sort of see him in the distance, but we're now surrounding these pikes. Uh, doing a good job here. These uh, Hall Guardians, I'm pretty sure at this point these Hall Guardians are going on for like 500 kills. They have literally like massacred everything over here. Um, but yeah, we are, we've broken a general. or killed him, I'm not sure. But we're now just, this unit here is just charging in the front. It's a bit mad from the Lake Town Guards here. But they're just shooting into the back of these pikes. Messing them up. And yeah, it is actually coming to that sort of period in the battle where we're starting to take the offensive a bit. But we still have this army over here to deal with. This is a bit of an issue. I mean, it's just blobbing up, really. It's making nice, easy targets for uh, any elves and dwarves that are firing. Look at the sea of, like, darkness. We've got elves, got Last Garland Blades, and they're now supporting their uh, kin. But yeah, this front line now is basically spent. That is insane. I don't know how we did it. We managed to hold off. I mean, it helped that, like, 
the troops from Dale came out because I think we were in real trouble if they hadn't. I also think that them going up in waves, uh, like these two armies going up in waves, did not help. I think them just like coming up in one huge force and going in and supporting with pikes um, in one go would have been great because we don't have pikes. Like it's the sub mod that has the dwarven pikes and they would have been devastating with those uh, pikes with swords. And there you go, we surrounded and killed this general here. I think he was just, I don't know what he was doing, he was just routing and dying basically. Yeah, this entire side's now broken, I think it's just one unit on this side that's just about to hold. Enemy units have been rallied. But yes, it is basically done here. I'm going to uh, just do a little bit of a fast forward because not much happens now. Well, there is a bit of stuff that still happens. But we're just getting ready. We're just getting ready for our attack on uh, the final sort of force, which is made up of, uh, well, just the, the pikes, really. It's just a pike line. Like I said, I think if they'd send their pikes in, they could have done a really good job. Like, these pikes are nasty. Can't really see them in this light. They are nasty. There you go. They look excellent. I think also Dale is starting to mobilize. So yeah, I think Dale's now going to march out the front gate or like out the front wall. He's going to try and pressure this side. So we're going to attack from two fronts. We're just desperately holding off from this flank here. I mean, we're doing okay. Um, I mean, the, Lord, uh, the Last Garland's guys are holding, um, but they're dying a little bit. Lords of Last Garland going in there. Got Hall Guardians in there as well. They should hold the line. But we've got plenty of stuff here now that's going to be able to hold. And we've got all this army here and stuff from Dale if it needs to come. So it should be fine. We kind of contain this army. We really should have let it across when we would have. Um, I think, like, if we were in a bit more of a... I don't know. We were in a pretty good position at the end, but, like, the army was just also controlled by the AI, so I didn't really want to just let it come across the... Uh, come across so easily and just go and random land them really go stuff and just ruin the battle a little bit but um so i decided just to contain it also probably the best thing to do save because we were still needing every troop we could get over here but here you go so we're getting uh got elves now going up i'm just sending them in now i don't even care about ammo let me see if i can catch these guys out of formation as we can they're not getting into their formation in time look at that bright what is the bright ground here it's like like the whitest sand or something I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't even know what's happening here. They've got their pikes down now, though. Yeah, we've got a huge. They've got huge issues here of uh, well, both sides. And we're gonna have a charge from the Lake Town Guards here onto uh, some. Looks like some gold or blades. Oh, of course, with the officer at the back. There we go. There we go. We can look in, look in depth at what's going on. Chop them down. Yes, I agree. Kill all of them. Now something to flank these guys and you'd uh, have them in real trouble. They're actually losing decisively already against these uh, late town guards. That's excellent. These late town guards are pretty nasty now. We've got pikes in here. They're flanking around. Yeah, it's just kind of the mopping up a uh, bit now. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fast forward a bit. Actually, no. Uh, no, we'll keep it on normal. I think we'll just keep it on normal. Enjoy, enjoy the last essence of this great, great battle. It's been a really fun battle to play. I thought it'd be all lasted longer than it did. In fact, when we actually did the original thing, because there's so many uh, troops on the battlefield, it's a little bit laggy. So it's like you couldn't zoom in. You weren't allowed to zoom in and stuff like that. It was. It felt like it took hours. I think it took like two hours or something like that. But it was actually like almost three quarters of an hour in replay on like real time. So that's insane how long it took. It's just because of the sheer amount of troops. I think it's ever so slightly getting laggy here because of like this problem over here. I don't really want to go over there and look at it. Uh, because that is a big blob. And that's probably the reason why it's ever so slowly being laggy. But um... These Goldor Pikes are actually messing up our aerial crossbows. We really need to get around them. We really need to get around them. What have we got going in here? We've got some Las Garland archers. They're going to flank these guys. And there you go. So I was saying they need to flank the Shocking Tree. Lake Town Guards got flanked themselves and are now 
losing decisively. The elves are in here. The archers with a bit of ammo left, but we need every man in combat right now. No real time to be shooting until Dale can be uh, unleashed, which is taking a little bit of time. He's they're be he's held, being held up by like the smallest of units. Like this gold or blades is like hardly got any men left. But look at the catapults. This is going to be devastating. Oh. I mean, that was in the water, so that wasn't that bad. But this one was pretty devastating. Have you just asked, have you seen the standard recently? Probably not, because he's probably dead from a fiery ball. But death. There's another one. Yeah, Dale, all his foot... I mean, he's just forced of power on through, and he's got to go now. He's got to keep pushing on this left. Get that catapult crew. Here he goes. He looks like he's going for it. It's going to be his uh, daily and swords that are going to make it there first. Oh, no, maybe not. He's going to turn around. Don't fall. Don't turn around. I mean, he's actually just shooting down the crew now. And uh, these uh, Mercury Rangers in behind. Not a bad idea, but I mean, there's only one unit holding up an entire side. And you might as well just push on with this side. Oh, no, they're going to get off another volley before we're done. No, surely not. Oh, that is disgusting. Dale, no. Unit has been destroyed. But I mean, yeah, I mean, we've done a good job. Done a really good job of the uh, Dalian troops. And there you go, my general then general fell. He fell dying uh, against some pikes. I was trying to get him to get around, but he kept getting trapped. And then he got attacked by uh, the champion's dog all door here. So it could be a bit of an issue here. And at this point, one of the other elven players then has to leave. Um, so this whole guardian unit is just stuck here. It was a very long battle, so I'm no surprised that some people had to leave at some points. But, I mean, thank you to all that did take part. I mean, sticking around for so long is such an effort. Um, but, yeah, let's try and fast forward. This flank over here, starting to break. General Allied General is also now dead. That's uh, the Dwarven General is now dead fighting over here. Even though he's winning. I mean, both sides are actually winning. But, um, yeah, that is a real issue. I mean, you can see here, look at this. Dale is now unleashed, and the battle is almost over. You can see, like, the numbers are very much even now. And that puts it in very much in favour of the attacker, of the, the uh, defenders, the force of good. Even though this entire army over here that's fresh, that might be able to help, but, like, if we've been able to get through, but it, it's just not going to get the chance. These Hall Guardians here are over, uh, well, they're still pretty fresh and they're uh, doing okay in combat. So you can put as many troops in there as possible, but there's only so many that can fight one at a time. And all you're doing is tiring out the ones at the back. But yes, yeah, so I mean, here is the end of the fight. I'm just going to want to look at the dead lines. Look at that. Look at the bodies. That is atrocious. I mean, there's just these random orcs here stood here, which is a bit annoying as well, but it's kind of cool. Got an or a horse here. The Elven King's uh, bodyguard just chilling there, just doing his own thing. Look at the bodies. That is just disgusting. And it's just pack packs of orcs. Maybe they're looking for some man flesh. Maybe. One last meal before they have to run all the way back to Dol Guldur. They've got some flanks here on here of the... Uh, have Dol Guldur for the final attempt. I mean, it's not going to do much. I mean, I'm surprised even with like the minus 10 morale that came in from like damaging the damage of Dale. Done really, really well uh, in holding them back. I mean, it is also elves and dwarves, so they're just really strong. That's why they, you don't need lots of them to beat a small amount, uh, a large amount of Dol Guldur. Well, I mean... I think we got it perfectly right. I think if they had charged in all at once, they would have done a really good job. But instead, they just decided to go in in waves. And though it nearly paid off, they didn't uh, mobilize... Oh, dear. They didn't mo mobilize all the gaps that were available to them. Is what I was trying to say. And now we've got some... Uh, what is this? Mirkwood Raiders coming up. They've been chased down by Grim Hammers. Oh, no. Hall Guardians, in fact. Jeez. Poor guys. They're actually going to get caught as well, aren't they? Uh, uh, one guy got caught. That poor one man there just got caught. Jeez. They're now, getting fo they're now getting focused down. My archers are now starting to fire. I'm just like, yep, yeah, just do it. Fire anything. Fire everything and anything. And Dale is just mopping up the rest, really. Imagine Dale being the one that mops it up. Not the elves or the dwarves. It's Dale. 
And here we go. We're going to have a charge in here. So this is going to be nasty on my archers. I mean, they're still good in combat, though, these archers. But the main, I think the main concern for the uh, attackers or the evil forces is this flank here. Just slowly beating everything. Cause now we can surround this unit here. But yeah, the elves are losing there actually. But I mean the general here is losing. And it's not going to be long till it is the end. The end in the final end. And then these uh, pipes being surrounded as well. A tiny unit of elves. I need the archers to focus these guys down. Look at that. If these crossbows turned and just shot here, that would be even more devastating. But yeah, all of these elven units now freed up and can go into taking out uh, this unit of Goldor Blades. And here we go. Poor guys. This is horrendous. Just want to kind of check over here. Oh, it's not nice. It's not nice going in here. It's not pleasant. Oh god, yeah, the frames are not good. And something's weird going on with the sky. It's just had an absolute seizure. Yeah, it's not pleasant going in there. But we won't look at that. Um, we will just go back to looking at this majestic final fight. And there you go. You see the sword unit breaking. Got some pikes here breaking. What's going to break first, the pikes or the swords? I'm going to say the pikes. The pikes don't like being surrounded. As much as swords. And there you go. I think they're broken. Possibly. I could be wrong. Yeah, they broke. And there you go. The swords just went just after. I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, there's a unit here. Wow. This unit... This unit's been fighting like loads of stuff. It's finally been surrounded by Dale. I still can't get over that Dale's done so well and survived so much. I mean, in the end, this army that's now, like, defending here was supposed to be attacking Dale. It was... They kind of rejoined up with the other two armies. For some reason, and just decided that was... It was the idea was to go in after... Uh, I don't know, the dwarves and the elves. It nearly worked, but they didn't commit. They just, uh, like, stood off. And there you go. So that is going to be the end of the battle. Uh, I think we're just waiting on someone to concede at this point. Um, so... Yeah, because this army here is just kind of... It's held by the AI, and I don't think anyone's really wait around just to see this many AI troops die. Um, wish they would, because we've got so much left. Well, not so much, but we've got enough left. We've got archers left, we've got shock infantry left. We've got crossbows left. Um, so we would eventually just break through and hold. Well, not break through, but kill all this off, probably. Even the pikes, because the pikes can't really sit up properly on this uh, little area. I mean, they're trying to, but... It's not going to end well. So, yeah, we'll just uh, end it there. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle. So, um, well, so far, it's, it's over. <laughs> Pope, it's over. Um, if you have, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment. Just to, uh, if you want to see more Rise of that is, and more Lord of the Rings content, then I, um, with your, like, reactions to it, I know what to uh, carry on pumping out um, for you guys. Um, and, yeah, I've really enjoyed doing this battle. I do thank everyone that took part. And uh, allow me to use this replay. It was really good. Uh, hopefully we might get another uh, five army Battle of Five Armies uh, battle out soon. When the trolls are coming out. Apparently they may be out in the next update. Apparently that's been said for a long time though. So uh, who knows. It could be several or more updates down the line. It depends how much I guess they've uh, learnt or like developed since uh, that. Well since this update basically. If they're uh, anywhere close to being ready. I mean, look at this. This is just a stream of elves. They're all so knackered. I'm just going to go over there and just chill. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the end of the battle, really. And I mean, it just looks horrific. I mean, Dale looks a wreck. Already was after Smile came around. And there you go. A Pyrrhic victory for the forces of good. So, th I, yeah, I'd like to thank Boris, Mythic Yi, Aiden, uh, Mr. Carmine, uh, Vinny, VD. Uh, Ludi, Ludi Rudd, uh, and Keanu for playing. That was a really good one. 
Um, so yeah, we'll quickly go over some of the units. I This is my army here. 710 kills to those Hall Guardians. An insane amount. My archers doing well, getting 346. 294. I mean, so my swords getting 205. Um, my space got 108. It's not too... Actually, 284. That's insane. Uh, my other Hall Guardians got 225, which is not bad either. And that's the one just holding the choke point. It's still had so many men left to lose. Uh, and then we'll go through Boris. I mean, he had 705 for his Grim Hammers as well, so excellent there. His Axe Warrior is getting like 200 kills on average. Um, another one of his Grim Hammers is getting 407, so they did really, really well, these Grim Hammers. They're a really tough unit. His Crossbow is getting over 200 kills, the best. And his Spear is getting over 200 kills. And his General getting over 200 kills as well, so well done to him. Mythic Yeet, uh, who was uh, playing his Dale. Uh, some of his Swords getting 201 kills. Uh, his Shipman actually getting 223. His Lake Town Guards, 397. Insane. His spear militia are getting 111, which is pretty impressive. And his watch post sentry is 225. And his uh, marksman dale 265. Then Aiden, who was playing as the smaller Woodland Realm army. That was inside the Sea of Dale. 402 kills with the Lords of Las Garland. 444 with his Hall Guardians. And 435 with his uh, Elven King Riders. Probably his like, most notable ones. Then we've got Mr. Carmine here, who was playing as the first Dol Guldur army. 106 kills with his Guldur Blades. Probably one of the best. He's got actually another one here on 132. That's probably it. That's all it, like the notable stuff there. Then we've got Vinny uh, Vidivici. His general getting 154 champions Dol Guldur. Um, 184 for his Guldur Blades. Um, his uh, Guldur Glaives 108. So it's not too bad. His Pikes only getting 842. Imagine if they'd gone in straight away. That would have been amazing. His Capital only getting 69. Ludi Rudd, who was playing as the uh, one of the other armies. I think he was... I think Vinny was attacking, uh, was attacking Dale. I think Luddy Rudd was uh, supporting uh, Mr. Carmine in attacking on the front line. Um, he's got Goldor Blades here, 119, 102 there. Uh, 184 for his champions to Dol Goldor, that's pretty good. And his Pikes in 66, which isn't bad. But it's, could do better, could do massively better. Keanu, who was the uh, uh, supporting army, which is then the AI. Oh, there's nothing really of note here. I mean, he got 22 or 38. But, I mean, he left too early on. To, he didn't even commit before he uh, had left, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway guys, like I said, if you've enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.